In the previous video of this series, we went over a couple of websites that you can use to get fund inf fundraising information about accounts. This video is going to be dedicated to the actual workflow and actually being able to reach out to these people automatically. So we're going to go over a basic workflow where you don't have a lot of manipulation, but if you're just getting started, it's really, really easy for you to target these companies. And then we'll talk about a more advanced workflow using clay.com that once you set it up, you'd be able to just receive fundraising information and then just set it, you know, just download it and then just do it once a month and you have your whole campaign targeted. So uh, the easy, simplest way to get a list of companies that are raising money and then find the people at those companies that you want to target is with apollo.io and so we have apollo in front of us and from our last video we were looking for companies where their last funding stage was series b and then when they raised was october 16th to today so we have this company list in front of us we just use the fundraise information in apollo and so there's some in here that really don't make sense to be quite quite honest like uh, Price Waterhouse Cooper, that's just probably not true. And so the way that we can clean up this list a little bit from companies that don't make sense is using the employee headcount filters. So we'll just turn all of these on for companies that are going to fit for us. And then we'll just go to the saved category. And we're going to hit select all companies. And then we'll just click find people. Now let's say I want to reach out to the people who are the uh, VPs of sales at these companies. So I'm going to put vice president of sales. Boom. Now we have our list. What I would do is I would spend more time making this list a lot easier. Probably make sure that the uh, person location is in the United States as well. And now you'd have a list of all these companies that raised money in the past six months for a series B all in the United States. And this is the VP of sales. I might try other keywords like actual VP of sales, uh, head of sales, just things to make sure that, you know, you broaden out your search and you can get more people. And so, like I said, this is the easy, basic way, kind of easiest way to get it done. The way that you could do this and automate it more is by combining harmonic with clay, which is my personal favorite way to, to get this done. And so in Harmonic, I just like Harmonic because they probably have the best fundraising information of anyone. And so we're going to take this list and we're going to add um, a country to it. So we're just in the United States. And so if you're using Crunchbase, if you're using Apollo, if you're using anything where the output is going to give you a list of websites, this is still going to work. Uh, or a list of LinkedIn company URLs. It's it's all still going to work. So just take this as more of like a, a reference of, you know, another way to do this. So we're just going to export this. And while that's exporting, I'm going, well, we don't even have to go to Clay just yet. Uh, so let's just let that export. So now we're ready to import inside of Clay. I'm just going to use import data from CSV. I'm going to take our spreadsheet. I'm going to hit new blank table. Complete import. Okay, great. And so what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, fundraise example. And so we have information about these companies here and we have all of these websites. We've got about 500 websites, maybe a couple more. And what we want to be able to do is turn these websites into leaders. And so there's two ways that we could get this done. We could use Clay and we could hit find contacts at company where we'd then be able to map in the website and then we could look for all of the job titles. We could also use this button up here called find people, which is essentially going to do the same thing for us. But the only problem with find people is we won't be able to uh, set up an automation where I could just take a list of 500 websites, completely just upload them into um, Clay and then just have like an automated workflow working for us. But what we can do is we could use this to set up our table. So what we're going to do, and believe me, just follow along. I know it's a little bit crazy. So we're going to hit don't save and we're just going to hit find people. So this is called fundraise example. We have that, and then we're just gonna hit vice president of sales. Great. So now we have the vice president of sales. We want them to be located in the United States. So what this is gonna do is now we're gonna get a preview. What this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to create another table uh, where we found all of these people. 
And so great, 50 out of 70 poor people to import, which for Series B company, that kind of makes sense. Cool. And so now we're just gonna let this load in. And so let's say that the thing that we wanna automate is basically we wanna automate finding their email address and we want to, um, I don't know, we'll, let's, let's just find their email address. So we're gonna hit find work email. So for their full name, we'll map their full name. And then for their company domain, we'll get this include catch all email results, Prospio we can trust, so we'll do that. And so now we're gonna just go out and find their email addresses. And then I'll just map this really quickly. Great, and then they are nice enough to give us a first name as well. So I'm gonna take advantage of that while I have it. Great, and so now we have everyone's first names and email addresses here. And what we can do is we can go ahead and we can run this. And then let's say that we just want another setup where we just want to, um, we want to send a, a personalized first line to them. So we'll just enrich the company with the uh, LinkedIn company URL. I don't suppose we have that. Nope, I guess we'll use the, the website. Whoops. We'll use the company domain and then we'll run this and then we'll just take the description. And then we'll just use the preset inside of Clay. And there's one called mission. This is available to everybody. Use a company to write a company mission to write the first email line. We'll get that done. Uh, this is my mistake. I need to change this. You don't need the quotes. Great. Ooh, whoops. Now we can save this and we'll let it run. Okay. So now up until this point, you might be saying like, Eric, like, how is this automated? Like, what are you talking about? And this is the point that we're going to automate. Uh, every, well, actually, I guess we need one more thing. So then we'll connect this to our smart lead account, add lead to campaign, refresh fields, fundraise example campaign, and then we'll just map everything out, which uh, I'm just gonna put their email and their first name, nothing. Well, I guess I'll put the custom name as well. All right, I guess you're gonna see more than I thought. So we'll keep going. And then we'll just say like first line, Okay, and we're gonna save and not run that. So now you might be saying, okay, like why, why are we doing it this way? The reason why we're doing it this way is because now what we have the capability to do is we can go to our original table, which accepts all of those, oh no, not that one. It takes in all of the websites, right? Take the fundraise example. So this takes all of our websites in here and what we can do now is Clay has set up for us our find people search. Yep. And I guess this would just, oh, this would send the data over for us. Okay, great. And so now what we can do though, is we could set up a right to table integration, which we could have started with a right to table integration, but it would have been easier. Uh, like we would have had to set up our whole table and everything. So what we're going to do is we'll start with, remember how I said the find contacts at company? We're gonna use that now. Again, the whole reason why I didn't use it in the beginning is because then you'd have to set up your whole table and workflow and everything um, using right to table. And I find that to, to be a little tough sometimes. So we'll do the exact same search and we'll hit vice president of sales. And we'll say the United States. And we can hit continue to add fields and we'll run this. Oops. And I know not every company has these people, which is totally fine. And we have this return one profile right here, which is essentially all that we need. So we're gonna open that up and then we'll hit take action on list. And we're gonna click write each item to a new row in other table. And so the other table that we're gonna hit is gonna say fundraise to find people from fundraise table, excellent. 
And now we can add our objects, which now I'm just going to add in uh, the like the first name, the full name, and everything from here. So just give me a second. And now I have all of these things mapped. So what I can do is I can hit save and run first 10 rows, and then we'll get this vitally person added to the bottom of the table. See how we have one row created? And so then we'll come over here. And you can see we have this, this row created at the bottom. Let's just bring it all the way down. So we have this person, right? Now, the big reason why we did this is because if all you do is you just upload a list of websites and then you use find people, you have to rebuild that workflow over and over and over and over again. And then you have to uh, like upload it, hit find people, and then you could import it into this table, but I'm a fan of just uploading a list of websites and then just having everything run. And so now if you set it up this way, you can go to your table next month, get the next list of companies, upload just websites. And so like you can even see how this would work. Fundraise example. And so I'm just going to pick a company. Oh, not that one. I'm just going to pick a company that for sure has a vice president of sales. So we'll come in here. And so now I would be able to just add more data and I can just hit and Salesforce could be in here, right? We just hit Salesforce. It runs. It'll get there. Great, so now we found 10 profiles. Now, if we go to that other table, now we have 10 VPs of sales at the company, and we would set them up in Smart Lead, which good thing it's not happening. I think I have Salesforce blocked or something like that. And so then it automatically adds a smart lead and we don't have to think about it at all. And so that is why I do it that way. Uh, there's easier ways to do it, I suppose, but this is probably the most automated, simplest way to get all of that done. And so I hope you enjoy that video.